Hey, uh, this is the one I was telling you you was going to be a look at from me. You got a second, man? Check, look at this. Uh, I just left this other shop, man. And I don't know how much you talking to help me out, but he was going to estimate me, too. Right over at Cla Car Classics, man. His son in the back, Dave's son. Man, them brakes is shot, man. My cousin just basically tried to, man, I feel like he just played me. He, well, he didn't. He said he needed brakes, but come on. How who going to drive it to get that bad, though, bro? That's ridiculous. Yeah. Now, look at the CV boot busted, the whole CV axle, and I need better control arms, ball joints. Telling. It ain't nothing that can't be done, man. It's just it's what it is. Yeah, that's all I'm looking at. Get everything fixed up. No, I gotta be so much. Just for the CV dude said the CV axle, man. I mean at the axle. The axle don't cost that much. Remember I work at the place? I'm gonna get a deal on all that. It's a labor, huh? It's labor. That's why he wanted to dump it off on me. He didn't want to do this shit. People who get their cars get like this is ridiculous, man. I'd have a bad look at it. Because right now, Classic Cars from the check it out. And he's going to like give me an estimate on like the bar really doors and all that. I don't know, man. A lot of people fuck with me, man. You know, you're going to see. But I'm going to fuck with you, though, first and just get it, get it done and see what's up. Cause I'm running out of room around the corner. Then if I leave by April, then they trying to push me out low key on my own shit. I'm tired of that with people. Cause I made a deal with them that you know they gonna pay. They part of the rent, but they know I to steal my shop. I'm not gonna park my car. I'm not gonna stop what I'm doing. So I'm kind of looking for me something else. So I'm trying to get out of this part of the game, so I can just have my cars. But I do want to fix it. It's gonna take me till next year. But I want to get this all the way right. Just on what I need with the front end, the suspension, and and all that, all that stuff. You know, I've got to look at all the needs, all the look at all the price, all the put together. Yeah, it's all good. 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 Yeah, he also said he thinks something up with the transmission and all that, but it drives himself. So, man, I, don't, I feel like he know what he was doing because we know cars. And he just didn't give me the whole full rundown on it. And I gave him my cutlass, that one you fixed. I gave him that for like three, four thousand. Then I gave him another, like, basically two, three thousand for this because he wanted 65. Then when I got him, I'm like, cousin, you just dropped some money off on this man for me. We family, then you, I got all these front end problems. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, it's a two-door truck, so I just wanted to keep it. I wanted me another one. They gonna hold some kind of value. Yeah. You got no guys out here, man. Still give me a nice little yeah, eighty-four. It's hard to buy the two doors yeah. in this year. Yeah, so you, know, and you got minimal rust that can be fixed easily. You know, yeah. it's just not too bad. You just need a new rocker there. And, you know, and then that two thousand two, the other one around the corner, that GMC. Yeah. I need them you joints done on that because I need that to be doing. What I'm doing in this, this one from 150 in less than three years to it's 201, and it's a V6. It's a V6 Hemi. Yeah. So you don't get that rubbing you could put fuck stuff under there. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to figure out how to cut this a little bit. Uh, All there's rubbing there is more rubbing on the plastic. Yeah. What you do is just cut the plastic down. Yeah, that's what, what uh, is, uh, that's what Ryan just said too. But something was tearing this up. Yep, it's this part right here. So I want to find me some nice twenty twos to put on here. Yeah, it's when he turns his tire, it catches yep. right here, and this is what's tearing it up. Exactly. What he needs to do is get another little three inch body lifter here, pull it up, and that's great. But you can do that with hockey pucks too. But I wish I could get in a position, man, eventually just to work with you, man. And I'm trying to stack me like 10, 20, because, hey, dude, I'm fine. I've got, I get get the cars, bro, like, for dirt cheap. Like, man, I can flip them. So I'm about to get my broker stuff together, because that's basically what I do. If you you, you see it for 3000 I'm probably going to go get it for seventeen. Yeah. But then I'm just not you. I'm not the mechanic. I'm not the professional on that side. 
so I can then I just, I just cussed out five of my sons today. I love them. So I'm like, man, y'all need to get another trailer. I've been fixing for 30 years. I'm retired. Yeah, I'm getting my sons to get another trailer and come help me with all these cars so that way I can be moving them. I'm doing it by myself. And it's a headache. I took a three hour and a half trip back from Minnesota last night. It took me seven hours by myself. It rarely ever happens to me, but when it do, it's disgusting. I'm tired. I got to be to work the next day and I'm putting this on. When I get back here, usually, I got to pull this off by myself and do all this. Then I just bought me a trailer. So why the hell am I renting this? Because that damn wheel fell off on me. Yeah. Oh, you know my wheel fell off on my trailer? What? On this last week, so I had to leave this there and my bike. So I don't know how to ride a bike, bro, but this thing run. You don't know how to ride it? Nope. I'm about to go get a You're class. To I'm to go get a class and get my license. And I'm gonna, in two months, I want to be on this in the next six weeks. I'll teach you how to ride it. Right, man, you get some time, bro. Show me, man. I'm, I got to work all this week weekend, but I got time. I got to show me. I don't even know what if it's a clutch. I don't, man, he, my cousin didn't even to me. He been riding for like five years, so he know what he's doing. I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, man. And they helped me get it on here, so I don't know how I'm going to get this off. So it's going to be on here for a couple of days. I don't know. I can't get it off by myself. We lift it up and just push it on here. Yeah, we picked it up and threw it in the back. Pretty cool. I think it's like a 2,000, get like 40 some thousand miles on here. Some 20, I forgot what's on here. 